Folks, our next guest is a uh, wonderful new comedian who can be seen uh, live at a place called Stand Up New York, uh, September 30th and October 1st. Making his first appearance with us here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kevin Brennan. Kevin, come on out. Sir. Uh, how's it going? So I live in Queens, and um, they're selling uh, crack in my neighborhood, finally. You know, I thought, um, I got robbed recently. They took, uh, they broke into my house. They uh, took my TV and my VCR, and they drank my juice. They stopped for a juice break. You know why? Because cops in my neighborhood have bikes. They're doing this, cops on bikes. They have criminals with Mercedes with bulletproof windows. The cop's on a Schwinn. The only guy you can catch on a bike is a guy going slower than you, like a guy in a pogo stick, you know, or a guy robs a bank on stilts. He's like, oh no, I'll never get away. Stilts are bad for bank jobs. They should give the cops Scud missiles in New York. Then you get results. We got you with Scud missiles. Gotta be like, I'm coming out, you know? As it is, the cops are like, Hey, we got you surrounded with bikes. <laughs> You'll never get away unless you have a car or a moped or, or a friend pick you up. <laughs> I got a super soaker. <laughs> New York is so weird, though. Oh, my. Everyone's so weird. Like, um, I mean, am I lying or what? I mean, it's unbelievable. Like, let's say you lived in, like, Iowa. And you walk down the street doing this all day. Yeah, 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 yeah. They would arrest you in Iowa. After five minutes, you'd be in jail going, it's just going, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't do that, yeah. In New York City, you can do that all day long. No one will pay any attention to you. I did it the other day, walked down the street all day long. Yeah, 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 yeah. One weird guy came up and said, Yee, are you my father? And you know, my father is like the weirdest guy ever. I mean, that was a segue, but my father is very strange. <laughs> no, my dad is like, he's watching too. Dad, you're weird, okay? When I was, this is a true story. When I was three years old, we had a dog and a dog got sick. My dad had to put it to sleep. He took it into the woods and shot it, which was traumatic for me because I was close to the dog. Actually, I was holding it, you know, so. <laughs> so I was just in Iowa. I'm in Iowa and uh, I, ha I like it there though, because it's like, but they're, they're weird there too. I was, uh, I, I was doing a show, I go, what are you guys gonna do after the show? They go, we're going cow tipping. Cow tipping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, and they explained to me what it was. Cows sleep standing up, so these kids get drunk, and then they push over the cow. And then they run from the cow. Like the cow's gonna chase them, right? Like a cow has chased anybody ever. You could shoot a cow's brother in the face, and he'd be like, moo, I don't care. I'm a cow, do whatever you want. But I'm thinking maybe the cows don't care. They're sleeping, standing up. So maybe when you knock them over, they're like, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Oh, this is much better. <laughs> I'm gonna fall every punchline from now on, okay? So, uh, but that's really all you can make fun of anymore is cows, unfortunately. Because, uh, no, because people are so sensitive. I was at a show, and I, uh, I do a lot of shows, so I was at a show, and I said to this, uh, I was making an observation about women. No, I love women, but I was making an observation that I think women want to get married more than guys do, because, like, if you go to a newsstand, right, you'll see, like, 30 bride magazines, right? There's no groom magazines, <laughs> right? We have porno. So anyway... <laughs> so anyway... <laughs> So anyway, so I, do, I say that, and a woman yells out in the show, she goes, you're a misogynist, which is a guy who hates women. I don't hate women, but I didn't like her because she was rude. But I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking after the show, what do you call a woman who hates men? And I realize there's no term for it because women can hate men, because women have been oppressed for millions of years, so they can hate men. The point is, I'm a white male. I can't hate anyone. <laughs> Any race can hate me. If I hate them back, I'm a racist. Women can hate me. All I can hate really is guys, that are whiter than me. You know, like an albino. 
I've seen Albino. I've seen Albino, I will kick his ass, seriously. Keep Larry Bird away from me. Edgar Winter, you're warned. Look at me. I'm crazy about this. I almost fell. But the thing is about all this, I'm a target. I am a target where I live in my, nation, in my, in my neighborhood. There's so many different nationalities. I am a target. They, I'm a target of hate. I got jumped one time by this guy in my neighborhood who was from India, okay? And uh, the guy put a knife to my throat, so I did an impression of a cow because they're sacred to people from India. <laughs> and the guy gave me a ride home. <laughs> Thanks a lot, you guys are a lot of fun, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with Crash Test Dummies. is the funniest comedian we know named Kevin. Next month, he will be performing at the U.S. Comedy Arts Festival in Aspen, Colorado. Do me a favor, say hello to Kevin Brennan. Kevin! Thank you. My name is Kevin. All right. So uh, I just thought that might win you over. So uh, I'm a winner also. I don't know if you guys, I'll show you this. I've been declared a $1 million winner. Can you see that? Thank you. There's a joke to follow. I went to, uh, I went to buy a car today. The guy said, you got collateral? I'm like, duh. <laughs> Hello, stupid, you're not paying attention. So uh, I was on the phone today. You know, I'm ready to snap with these phone messages I'm getting. Someone called me, left a message on my machine. Kevin. Call me when you get in. It's very important. They don't leave their name or their number. I have no idea who it was. What am I supposed to do? Try to figure it out? No. You know what I did? I called people I didn't know and left them messages. <laughs> Total strangers. I'm like, I found it. Call me. <laughs> You're adopted. Gotta go. I don't care. I'm fighting fire with fire. Harry Hill. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh... I was on an you guys ever been on an elevator? How many people? I'm very short on time, so. <laughs> How many people have been on an elevator? Okay, so, I was supposed to hold it for the guy, but I'm not friendly, you know what I mean? So, it was the holiday season, I had it by myself. I'm not gonna share it, so I had it by myself. The guy's frantic, though, he's running. He's like, hold the elevator! Hold it, for the love of God, hold the elevator! And I just stood there, you know, I didn't move. But he was fast, so before it closed, he stuck his arm out and cut it off, and then it opened automatically. He gets on with me, and I'm like, ha, <laughs> ha, I gotta pretend I'm paralyzed now. I'm like, can you at seven for me? Because I really can't. I can't move my arms at all. Oh, that was funny. You know, seriously, I got no time for laughs. Anyway, so the whole point is this. I'm getting drunk right after the show. You know, seriously, you're all invited, but I can't pay. So, um... I was, uh, you know, I go to bars, I'm an idiot. I go to bars to try to meet women. It's impossible, you know, because the music's so loud, I can't even have a conversation. Now I just say anything to women, because they can't hear me. The other night I was like, hey, I met Bigfoot outside. <laughs> Bigfoot's outside, you'll see him, he's got the big feet. She's like, I don't know what you're saying, I don't... You wanna, you wanna dance? You wanna dance? This is how I dance. You wanna dance? You wanna dance? You wanna dance? She's like, I don't know what you're saying, but... Can I buy you a drink? Sure. Yeah, you can buy me a drink. Thank you, thank you. So I'm really, I mean that. I mean that, thank you. Anyway, so I was on a uh, date. You know, weren't, didn't dates used to be fun? Did you guys ever go on a date? How many people have been on a date before? You know, I'm on a date with a vegetarian. Vegetarians are annoying and they gotta be stopped. You know what I mean? They gotta be stopped! Jesus, how much time? Now the whole point is, you got to find out if she's a vegetarian before you go out with her. I was on a date, you know, I ordered a chicken sandwich. She goes, you eat meat? You eat meat? I can never eat a living thing. I'm a vegetarian. I said, well, plants are living things too. They're just easier to catch. You know, you never have to... 
You never have to sneak up on corn, do you? Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting for corn. Dating used to be fun, no more. Basketball used to be fun, pro basketball. Pro basketball, this is a very serious point I want to make. They make, <laughs> those guys make too much money and I'm pissed, you know what I mean? I mean, I look like I have a lot of money, but this suit's going back to the store tomorrow. The point is, <laughs> seriously, the point is this. Shaq, you know Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal, 120 million for seven years he's getting to play basketball. He's never even won anything. He's getting a tenth of a billion to play basketball. Is that too much or am I a jerk? You know, I'm not gonna have kids. I'm not gonna have kids, but I am gonna adopt kids. The biggest, tallest kids I can find. I swear to God. I'm gonna, I wear, yeah! I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk in, I'm just gonna walk in agencies. Give me the biggest freak you got in here, okay? He's eight feet tall and he's two years old. Get in the car, Glip Glip. We're going for a ride. You guys were a lot of fun. Thank you very much for having me. I love you.